where it seems anywhere you dig in northeast Pennsylvania, you hit rock. Now, some of that rock is actually very valuable. Pennsylvania bluestone is a valuable commodity. It's renowned around the world, believe it or not. They export it to Japan. I've seen it in Florida. I've seen it in England. And yet, we're sitting on it here in northeast Pennsylvania. So I thought it's time to find out about bluestone. So we're going to meet somebody at Meshoppenstone, and he's going to tell us all about this wonderful material. Well, I've managed to find Wally, who's the sales manager here at Meshop and Stone. First of all, let's get things straight. Bluestone isn't always blue. Not always blue. Basically, you have blue, blue, or you have full color range, which is a mix of color like you see here. Or there's actually a, a variation called lilac also. But full color is the big. I've biggest. seen the lilac just once. But yeah. what you've got to realize is that bluestone, our stone naturally to northeast Pennsylvania, is desirable right across the USA. Yeah, we ship pretty much all 48 states. Canada, all up in that area. I've even seen a patio in England, believe it or not. Oh yeah. I don't know how it got there, but there I it mean, is. I mean, we've shipped stone to as far away as Japan and the Bahamas and Aruba. So it's not just a wasted stone, a nuisance stone. It's a valuable asset. Very look, much so. Just look what a beautiful thing it does. This is what they call a standard mix pattern. Some people call it an ashlar pattern. It's just a random mix of sizes between a 12 by 12 up to a 24 by 36. So Meshoppen though has various quarries where you quarry this stone. The thermal stuff is all sawed out of big blocks. The natural cleft is a natural product that's hand split in the quarries that comes in the way it is on a pallet already split. And uh, we segregate it, sort it uh, for quality and everything like that. And now you mentioned the word thermal. Now, I, from what I understand, they treat the top of the stone so it becomes like a non-slip. Right. And you can see that big saws over there. What they do is they take a block of stone and, and basically saw it like a loaf of bread, you know, into different like two inch slabs. And then it's cut into treads, which are like the uh, steps yeah, for walk Yeah, I can see why you want it non-slip. That yeah. stuff. That, and then to get rid of the tooling and the saw marks, they thermal face it with big torches. And what that does is get rid of, it gets rid of all the tooling marks and you get a nice textured finish nice. like you see right on top of that wall there. The thermal stuff is, it's gauged, it's got tolerances, but it works well for like as steps or wall caps where pool copings, where all the edges are shown. Yeah. And you need that plus or minus an eighth inch tolerance so that, you know, you're not going from inch and a quarter to inch and three quarters. No, I'm with you. you know, it's yeah, a yeah, nice yeah, yeah. smooth. So tell me about tumbled stones, though. We put them in vibratory shakers. Yeah. And what it does is you put it in there and it just spins in the barrel and it eventually softens just all the edges, yeah. softens all the edges. So it almost looks like it's been bullnosed on the edge or something like I'm that. With you. But it's still pretty natural looking. It's not like as fine a finish as a bullnose, but it's a nice rounded edge. Now, what about, do you do any field stone? Oh, uh, we do all that. Field stone, uh, colonial, all kinds of. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. So in terms of difference, this is like a, a, for paving. They're irregular shapes as well, yeah? Yeah, we do this in a regular pattern. This is what they call natural cleft because you can see where it's naturally split. It's not, it's not sawed like that material is into a specific gauged unit. This is natural, like natural cleft inch and a half can range anywhere from inch and a quarter to two inches. Gotcha. So it's where Mother Nature lets you split it is where you're going to get that piece <laughs> of stone. And uh, in terms of a patio in northeast Pennsylvania, um, because how much of, thickness would you be, recommend? Because of the frost, definitely inch and a half, what we call inch and a half to two. And if you're looking for stone, just look at the edge as well. And if it's all like splitting up, it's not a good yeah, stone. Yeah, you want a good solid stone that doesn't have a lot of, of open reeds and stuff in it. And An open reed is like a little crack. Like, like when, people, when these guys split stones, this natural cleft, it's in a, like a big thick block and they'll have different what they call reeds that they split it with hammers and chisels it's almost like a an art for these guys yeah. to know where to, to split it at and that's how this that's why all this natural cleft has got this natural looking face to it because it's all you know it's what mother nature made it as and we just split it so pennsylvania bluestone it's a wonderful valuable product oh we should look after it but we're giving right. respect Ex yeah? Definitely. Well, Wally, thanks ever yep. so much for giving you yep. the information. Thank no, you. No problem.